what's going on, God's people. Hopefully you had a blessed week. It's Friday. Um, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can tell, I'm in a storage area right now. Uh, to my left somewhere, there's a ladder uh, and, and a filter for the air conditioning. Uh, there's also a, a filter for a vacuum cleaner. There's a ladder. There's some bins back here. There's all sorts of things here. Um, and that's like our topic today. Uh, and our topic is forgiveness. Uh, you can't see most of the things that are in here. And you can see me uh, uh, pretty clearly, I believe. But when we don't forgive, we, it's like we're in the darkness. We go to a dark place when we don't forgive. And very, very honestly, what God is looking for, what he's asking of us is that we would even right now check our hearts. If it's something that's from our childhood that we need to let go of, let's let it go. If it's a, a past relationship, a romantic relationship that we need to let go of, let it go and forgive. Whatever the case is, whatever it is, we need to let go of some things. And when we do, we'll begin to step in the light again. Here's three awesome gifts that forgiveness will give you that will bless your socks off. It'll really bless your socks off. You'll be barefoot afterwards. Anyway, um, when it comes down to it, forgiveness first and foremost will put you in a position where you can understand and see things for what they really are. So when you forgive, you'll be able to join real relationships. The relationships that you have right now will be a whole lot more free. Because you'll be, things will be clear. Not like this storage unit that's dark that you really can't see what's going on. Things will be more clear if you forgive. The second thing is it, that it will do for you is it will cause you to be able to hear God more clearly. We all need answers uh, or really direction from, from our Father in Heaven, from God. We need direction. We need things to be more clear. So that's what it will do. It will cause us to be able to hear more clearly from God. The Bible says that if we forgive, then God will forgive us. God will answer your prayers more, more uh, frequently and, and, and with greater abundance when you forgive. I know I could use some more abundance. Hopefully you can as well. The third thing that it will honestly do when you forgive is it will put you in a place where you'll be able to really live. You'll live because you won't be tied down like these things are tied down to this storage unit. And they can't come out. This storage area, they can't come out uh, until somebody takes them out. Some of us need to unpack unforgiveness in Jesus' name. Let's pray real quick. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the power of your word. I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. And I even sense right now by the Holy Spirit that somebody's going to get healed. And when they hear this and when if they if they walk this out, somebody's going to get healed in their body. I once saw a woman actually in a church service uh, who listened to the to the the, the pastor that was preaching. Uh, and he said that, that he sensed by the spirit of God. He didn't even know her. He sensed by the spirit of God that she had some unforgiveness towards a particular person. And the Holy Spirit was leading him to tell her that. And she admitted that there was a particular person and that person uh, had done them really wrong. It was wrong. So forgiveness, forgiving them doesn't mean that you're saying what they did is right. So she forgave that person. She had a high blood pressure issue that God healed her of. He healed her. So somebody's going to receive healing in this chat. So, Father, let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I forgive. Go ahead and put their name in that spot. I forgive them. I honestly forgive them from the bottom of my heart. I forgive them. I release. Fill their name in. I release. Go ahead and put their name in that spot. I release them. I forgive them. And I ask, Lord God, that you would touch them any way that you need to touch them right now. I'm asking, Lord God, for freedom from roots of bitterness. Freedom from roots of unforgiveness. I bind those wicked forces in Jesus' name. And I will walk in freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. If you really release that person, if you really forgave them, the Bible says that God will forgive you as well. So now receive your joy in Jesus name. Receive peace in Jesus name and receive the comfort that only the Holy Ghost can bring. Anyway, God's people love you. Bless you. Have an awesome weekend in Jesus name.